On behalf of the academic division at the Coast Guard Academy, I'm proud to be part of an institution that offers cadets an exciting four-year experience that leads to a future in Coast Guard leadership. Our faculty is committed to creating an environment that helps cadets develop critical thinking skills, a strong ability to communicate, and the desire to never stop learning. The service needs officers who have sharp minds, demonstrate sound leadership competencies, and do value the importance of teamwork, all within the context of the service's core values of honor, respect, and devotion to duty. Our core curriculum is firmly based in the arts and sciences with a breadth of technical and professional exposure that serves as the nucleus of every major. The mantra of our faculty is one of high availability and high engagement. And while we're extremely proud of our program, we're continuously evaluating and changing it as needed to keep pace not only with higher education, but the dynamic environment that all Coast Guard officers face. The Coast Guard Academy's academic program is among the nation's best as reflected by rankings in U.S. News and World Report and the Princeton Review. I think the quality of the education is phenomenal. It was incredibly challenging for me to go through here, and I, and I know interacting with the, with the students here today that they're, they're challenged. You're really primed to do, to do well not only here, but really when you leave here for the rest of your life. We're a STEM school, which is you know, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Everyone takes calculus, physics, chemistry, English courses, composition. Everyone is well grounded in a very traditional core. It's offset. It's like a, it's like a quarter. Like we are selective in that we have uh, only the eight majors uh, that are here, four of them that are engineering, uh, one science, one math, and humanities and government. The Academy's eight majors and 13 fields of study can open doors to countless career opportunities throughout the Coast Guard, government, and civilian life. Most of the students that are in this class are interested in becoming an engineer flow. So once they graduate and are commissioned, they will be on a Coast Guard cutter and there'll be situations sometimes where something will go wrong on the cutter. And it's their job to them as engineers to solve the problems. We are really one of the very few four-year, technically focused colleges of such a small size left in existence. Our size is a tremendous advantage in integrating the entire cadet experience. We have a wide variety of offerings and are able to keep pace with service needs. Among many others, we're able to teach courses in intel and security studies that are right on the front lines of what's going on in that arena internationally. So these are great tools that we have, and cadets take advantage of them. Faculty do as well. The faculty charged with challenging cadets and promoting intellectual and critical thought is comprised of civilians, permanent military, and rotating military personnel. Outstanding faculty, uh, who are so committed to making sure every lesson is top of the line. With a total enrollment of around 1,000, the student to faculty ratio is eight to one. All classes are taught by professors, not graduate assistants, meaning that cadets benefit from professors who get to know the cadets personally, taking an active interest in each cadet's learning. I think the big thing that sets us apart is the individual attention that the cadets get from the teachers both in the classroom and outside the classroom. I get to talk to my teachers every day and if, if I have a question or I'm struggling, I can ask them and they'll focus on me, focus on that question and it's, it's just a better learning environment. I'm an operations research and computer analysis major. I know all of the, the teachers that are in that department and they all know me by my first name. I really get to learn more about the cadets themselves, learn more about their personalities. It can be a lot more relaxed. Everyone's comfortable in the classroom. We have a very strong honors program where cadets compete for different honors and scholarships. These prestigious scholarship programs include Rhodes, Marshall, Fulbright, and Truman Awards. And despite its small enrollment, the Academy has performed quite well. Nine cadets have won scholar awards in just three years. 
I mean, there are lots of opportunities that came with the Truman. So right off the bat, you get to do this leadership week where you're with the other Trumans and you're going through ropes courses and you're breaking down policy proposals, you're doing mock trials, you're, do, you're doing all kinds of things, all that are public service related. After you graduate from college, you do an internship and that can be through Congress, it could be through a nonprofit organization. In conjunction with that, uh, have the typical capstone projects for each of the different majors. All first-class cadets complete a capstone project where cadets and faculty work side-by-side -side to solve real-world problems. We are focused in terms of taking those cadets who are capable and willing to go to that next level and publish. They're out there using their intellectual horsepower to solve problems and really be an active part and make or understand that their education is relevant to the Coast Guard, Department of Homeland Security, the government, the people. And we've had some great success stories. In addition, honors students have the opportunity to participate in international summer internships and travel to academic conferences to present their research. Some say the sky's the limit when it comes to these experiences. Every student who graduates here has the opportunity to go to a fully financed graduate school. And, and those students who go off, they do phenomenal. And they're up against folks graduating from all the best colleges and universities in the country. And you, you'll see our students, you know, just win accolades and, and, you know, rank out at the top of their class. Just six years in the Coast Guard, the Coast Guard sent me to graduate school for almost two years, uh, paid full tuition, paid my salary while I was there. And, and really, um, it was at that point that I made a commitment that any organization that would do that uh, for me and with me it was an organization that I was going to be with for as long as I possibly could. At every turn, cadets are provided the resources and support necessary to succeed. So they have a, an officer or a chief that helps them in their professional maritime development, their academic advisor that helps with their academics, and then we also have a physical domain coach, somebody to help with their physical development. So those three mentors help the cadets grow. Your success depends on not only you, but the person next to you, your peers, your shipmates. That's what we stress. It's all about teamwork. For those prospective cadets out there, we need you to be a team player so that you can work together with the staff and faculty within a world-class advising and mentoring framework. This allows you to develop into the leader that you must be to serve our nation. We hope that you will seize every opportunity to invest in yourself just as we invest in you.